What is up YouTube people? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. And in this one, I am talking about the best bang for the buck motorcycle tire inflator. Okay, so this one's by Dynaplug Micro Pro Inflator. I basically keep this underneath the seat of my motorcycle. This is what the box looks like when you get it. It does come with an instruction guide, which is kind of nice. Uh, as you can see, it says the operation or run you through a list of what to do. It'll tell you what your different power options are. So you've got a SAE to SAE connection, which is this one. It's a little over six feet. I believe it's six feet, like five inches or so, which is plenty to get from your battery to your rear tire or your front tire. And then it has, uh, this is basically direct battery connection, which is this guy right here. Also comes with a 15 amp fuse in there. So that's kind of nice that they did that. Uh, and this would just connect to the leads of your battery. Then it also comes with, as you can see, the alligator clips. Uh, so the alligator clips go here. So let's say this wasn't, you know, let's say you're, you're riding down the road and you found somebody who had a flat tire or maybe they need to tire a buddy of yours or whatever and you wanted to be able to use it on their bike, instead of using the battery from your bike, you could just connect it to their bike. Because assuming that their bike starts and turns on or whatever, uh, you know, they would pop their seat or whatever the battery compartment cover is. And then you, you could just connect directly to their battery. So positive, negative. This also has a 15 amp fuse. And then your last option, uh, which is right here, is basically your cigarette lighter plug. Uh, it's kind of nice that they did this. As it is, uh, this will fit into the proprietary BMW systems, but with this little plastic adapter that goes on, this goes on and then twists. Basically, now you can plug it into almost any cigarette lighter, so that's kind of nice. So you have three different power options. That's basically what they're trying to tell you. Uh, from the battery, basically, you would go to your 6-foot, 5-inch connector, and then that would basically get you... Uh, you know, to your rear tire, to the rear tire of the motorcycle. So then uh, let's talk about the actual unit itself. So this is the Dynaplug Micro Pro Inflator. Uh, this is where the SAE power cord would plug into. So basically one or the other, the end would go into there. And then this is the business end. So your air hose goes here. And basically the black side, the black connector is what, is what connects here. So you unscrew this cap, you screw on to the Schrader valve, this end of the hose. And then this end of the hose would go on to the Schrader valve on your actual motorcycle. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And the reason, one of the main reasons why I chose this Dyna plug was because it has the screw on type. I noticed there's some other inflators out there that have the the piece of plastic with the latch thing they have to snap down. I've never been a fan of those. It, it really depends on the build quality of those, but I prefer this style better. And this is a brass fitting, which is kind of nice. So you know this thing is going to hold up over time. Uh, so basically, you have power running to your Micro Pro inflator. Uh, an LED light comes on, which is really nice. So as you're, as you're holding this thing next to your motorcycle tire... If you're in the dark, at least you know you got a nice little LED light there. Uh, basically, you would press this red button. So everything in your hand is pretty right here. You know, it's all right here. Like there's no, there's nothing to fuss with. You press this button, the pump starts working and activates, uh, and air starts going into your tire. And then when you depress it, it'll actually hold the seal between your motorcycle tire and the pump so that you could check your air pressure. That's what this cap is for. So when you unscrew this cap, there's another uh, Schrader valve type stem there and they include a, a stick air pressure gauge, which is kind of nice. And this has basically PSI on one side and then the other side is kilograms. I believe some people call that bar. I don't know if that's actually the same thing. Uh, but basically you get the idea. So this side would say, let's say you had 40 PSI in your, in your rear tire. You flip it over and you're at like just shy of three kilogram kgs or whatever that is, or bars. Uh, you get the idea. But basically you, you would hold your, you know, um, basically hold your tire pressure gauge air and it'll fill up and it'll tell you exactly what you have. If you need to add more air or take air away. When you're done using it, uh, what you would do is unscrew it from this side. So you, you will get a little bit of, or sorry, unscrew it from the brass straight around. So when you unscrew it, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of air leak. Maybe you might lose like a quarter of a pound of pressure. So just make sure you fill up to whatever is recommended for your tire pressure and then add maybe like one more PSI or like a half a PSI. 
so that as you unscrew it from the tire, at least you know you're not going to lose too much air. Anyways, this thing totally saved my life. I had gotten a nail in my front tire. I really was about 20, 25 minutes to half an hour away from the nearest phone reception. So I was pretty much stuck with nothing to do. So uh, I'm going to do another video right after this one showing you which tire plug basically I used to plug the tire. And then I used this to inflate the tire. And that's what got me home. So... Strongly recommended, best bang for the buck. There is a link for this in the description below. There's also a like button down below and a subscribe button down below. I'm asking you to you know, go ahead and hit those. Helps me out, helps the channel out. And also, this item sells out quick. So if you go to the link and it's not available right then and there, just give it a while. Sometimes a week or two, it'll come back on and then the product is available again. But I strongly, really strongly, if you have a motorcycle, whether you're doing short trips, long trips, you know, most of the time we end up riding in the hillsides or the canyons where cell phone reception is hard to find. Tow truck drivers sometimes charge more money. If you live in the United States, you know, AAA could, they could help you out for whatever your AAA membership is. And sometimes they charge you a little bit more because it's a distant tow, whatever they call it. Uh, please comment on that below. If you've had that experience where you've called AAA and they were like, hey, you know, you're X amount of miles from civilization, there's a surcharge or a fee. Put that below because I'm 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 kind of curious to hear that story. So put that comment below. But otherwise, you know, this will help you out in a jam to get air into your tire, at least your motorcycle tires, uh, to at least try to get you home or to a service shop or to a motorcycle shop or whatever it is to at least be able to help you, you know, change out your tire if that's if that's what it's needed. Uh, but anyways, Cooter Malloy here coming at you, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and uh, one last tip is on the back side of this uh, how-to operational thing, they do give you the specifications of what everything is. So they're saying max pressure is 100 PSI, but realistically it's more like 40 PSI is what you can really get up to. So in case you were curious about that, if you guys want to freeze this frame and the screen or whatever, you can kind of see what the specifications are. Oh, and it does come with a limited one-year warranty. I didn't even know that until right now. So, hey, more power to us all if they, if they include a warranty. That's kind of nice. All right, guys. Kudamalai. I will catch you on the next one.